Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So today, there's a little something we gotta do near North Clock Town. Outside of North Clock Town, that is. <coughs> you remember those ladies who were just dancing right down, right, right there, excuse me. And, um, they were making all that noise. Well, they need a special dance maneuver, but they can't get it right. They, there's just something about what they're doing that isn't right to them. I think we can make this. It might be over here. It might be this one. There's like these weird mushrooms. That music sounds familiar, doesn't it? We can make this jump with Link. Hey there. I am no longer part of living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Ah. This translation. I am disappointed. Oh, moon, I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into my giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. The spirit dancer Kamaro was added to your notebook. There's a song we can play for this guy. Wait, that's not... If we play the song of healing to this man, perhaps he will be healed of his sorrow, and we may spread his dance to the world. This guy is unbelievably creepy. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Translation, I have taught it to you, now make it into a popular dance craze. You have Kamara's mask. Which is a freaking creepy mask. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. And then he explodes into fire. I have become the dancer's successor. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Now then. <coughs> the ladies who were dancing was, were dancing to similar music, but they couldn't get their dance just right. So unless you were mentally challenged, you know that we should go there and give them... Show them the dance by wearing the mask. There are some max, m max, <laughs> masks that allow you to do certain things, such as the, um, the, the, the falcon mask that I can't remember the name of that the dog weared, wore. My god, what is wrong with me tonight? You wore that mask and you can you then press like B. This one's also different, the mask of sense. You put this on and you sniff around. I don't know why I didn't show that off. I think I was just too pissed off at the time. <laughs> the explosion mask allows you to explode things. This one, it, like, isn't useful at all except for story and getting more masks. But this one allows you to dance. So you go up to these girls and dance in front of them. This is a such a creepy mask. It takes away your face. They're just like, oh, look, a faceless child. Let's dance like him, because this is a cool dance. Who the hell would dance like this? <laughs> oh, that's a nice dance. I'll have to think about this later tonight. I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> Five bucks to anyone who knows where that's from. I'd hope you know where that's from. Thank you for teaching us those steps. You're our master. Oh, damn right I am. Okay, so now I got... Oh my god, Link, you look so creepy. I have a piece of heart. I stole the hearts from the girls. What the hell? There's, there's no way there wasn't sexual undertones for this. So now every night they'll be here dancing. I like the music of this, with especially the whistle. The, uh... Whatever this is. I don't know what's, what instrument that is. But I like the whistle better. Blow my whistle, baby. Next up, in the morning. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not it. That's it. I was playing the song of double reversed time. Which doesn't exist. Let's go to the dawn of the second day, because there's really nothing else we can do here tonight. Baby, tonight... I don't even like that song. What am I doing? <laughs> Dawn of the second day. 42 hours... 48 hours <laughs> remain. Alright. Why am I still wearing this ugly-ass mask? Let's go ahead and start off the day right with a horrible minigame. game. 
I believe at 12 o'clock the bomb shop opens. And when the bomb shop opens, we can go ahead and buy a few things from the bomb shop. Specifically, the cheap... I believe it's cheaper. I'm not 100% sure on that, but pretty sure it's a cheaper bomb bag than what we could get at the curiosity shop on day three if we did not save the little old lady. However, you'd need to save the little old lady anyway because you won't be able to get the bomb mask otherwise. And the bomb mask is a very important mask. It's one of the better masks in the game, really. Uh, don't you hate it when you have a cold and, like, your eyes start to water and, like, tingle? That's a, not a good word for it, but it's good enough. Try setting a new record again today, young Mark. One game is ten rupees. Use this Deku flower to have fun. The time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you get an extravagant prize. Again, we just have to beat a minute and 15 seconds. So now, instead of moving up and down, they move left and right. Which is actually way more difficult, as you can see. This one is much harder than day two. And I believe in day three, they move both up and down. <sighs> I hate this. <laughs> Okay, it won't start until you jump out, so we can wait for that one around, coming around. Uh, coming around and around and around, around, around. I'm gonna wait for that one to get over here close enough so I can jump up. That'll do. Flapjacks! I'm going to need to jump cut this madness! I'm also going to need to, like, go get out 200 rupees. Because I've already said I'm doing this. I already did the first one. I might as well do the other two. So, come on. If this takes a year, I will jump cut it. And I have the Song of Double Time, so I'm not wasting too much time anyway. Get over here. Uh-oh. I cannot believe I survived that madness, but it took me like 10 seconds longer than it really should have. Wow, I am like doing a whole amount of BS on this. Oh, just barely. You can't really see your shadow too well in this game. Like, it's it's angled in such a way that it's hard to tell exactly where you are in relation to them. So a lot of the time I have to guess. I guessed really well when I was doing it before, but now I'm just screwing it up. Right, get over here. Do 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 I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. Majora's Mask is a good game, but this mini game is not. I landed on that. <laughs> Jump gun. Oh my god, that's so difficult to judge. Mother! Flapjacks. I'm going to need a lot more rupees than this, aren't I? Okay, just to take a small break, I decided to go into the bomb shop because it's actually open early. I didn't think it was this o uh, open this early. Welcome. We can go ahead and buy bombs, but we need a bomb bag to do them. Oh, it's only like... Okay. Actually, hmm. Maybe it's... Since it's a big bomb bag, I think the other one was just a small bomb bag, so it was like 20 bombs, probably. Oh, well, I'm going to need to go ahead and go buy more crap, so... Oh, well. Hey there, buddy. It's still, like, 10 rupees less, but that's not a lot. Nice fella helped me out, so we can finally sell big bomb bags. Once, once again, the giants are looking out for me. Uh, mommy, don't go picking up bomb bags in the middle of the night anymore. It's like asking to be mugged. And I've actually heard that a thief has been lurking on the outskirts of town that the guards don't give a shit about. But it's been our lifelong dream to sell big bomb bags since back in your daddy's day. Since we can't get the Goron-made goods, this was a big chance, Sonny. 
I just don't want anything to happen to you, Mommy. Aww. Hey, it's our first Goron that we can hang out with. Huh? Hello, did you c come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that this bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry I even brought it up. Alright, so that's our first Goron of this game. Um, here's something pretty cool. Whoops, I can't really look at it. Planned moon trip. Experiment memo. Try using bomb-powered flight. This world of Termina is way more advanced than Hyrule. It has, you know, clock-based kind of steampunkish kind of stuff. But it also has planned space flight. That's pretty damn awesome. Hyrule, at the most, has knights in iron armor. Let's get 90 more rupees so I can go back to murdering myself. Here goes all the rupees I needed. Jump gun again! Dude, I will give you a hundred rupees if you just let me win. You're like, oh yeah, he he did it. Sure, hand over those hundred rupees. Maybe it'll be easier if I just go out to the ones in the middle. No, it is not. Oh sh shit. Alright. Where's this last one? No, you get back here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, Ola. Oh my god, how did I survive that shit? Stop going so fast! Oh my god, I can't believe I made that. Oh, that was like three very difficult ones. Ooh, jeez. Like three, I almost fell off like three or four times. In all, they still made a, uh, <laughs> they still made a profit. So I think they should be happy. They made like a $30 profit. Okay, I was just talking to, uh... Rebecca being like, so I finally beat the freaking thing. And she was like, what thing are you doing? And I'm like, I'm trying to beat the Deku crap. Okay, so I finally got that done for today. What else is there to do? Uh, can't do anything with Cafe. That'll have to do for another. Um, I think the next time I'll probably go ahead and start on the Snowhead Temple. Or at least the Snowhead area, because a lot of things we need to do require your next main mask. My nose is suddenly running like freaking waterfalls. Oh, that is so gross. Um... <laughs> you do 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 Right. There is one thing we can do. So remember, we uh, got the um, dude. We, we we made him get out of his flower. I believe we can do this. Wait. No, we ha we can't do that. We have to do that later. Oh well. Yeah, we can do that later. It requires a lot of money anyway. <laughs> I think there's, we're pretty much out of stuff to do, and that's kind of sad for the uh, first, like, we're not even really that far into this episode due to all the jump cutting I had to do, and I really don't want to do the the other minigame there, so I suppose, I suppose it's time we bid adieu to this timeline at least. Oh, right, I need to go ahead and put away my 100 ru uh, 120 rupees. I believe we get the giant's wallet when we have 500. Oh, wait, no! <laughs> what am I doing? What am I talking about? I still need to do the third day of the Deku one. Okay, so... Why am I thinking I'm done? I'm, just, I'm sure a lot of people are like, What are you doing? Okay, so... No, it's... We need to skip an entire day to the third day.
and then skip again, because now it's night of the second day. 36 hours remain. I'm not even nearly done, guys. I still got one more thing to do with the Deku thing, and if I remember, this one's the most difficult, and god it took me forever to get that other one down. The, the pattern with that was, like, I just kept trying to jump it, and I don't know why I did. You have to wait for them to get under you before you actually get on them. Uh, let's go ahead and get out a few rupees. Not deposit. No, I don't want to make a deposit. Zero rupees? Oh, that's too bad. I... Mother Hubbard! <laughs> I really need to stop mashing the A button, shouldn't I? Yes, it is a cool joke. Thank you. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, well, whatever. I'm five rupees short. Let's go ahead and finish this madness. Get our freaking heart piece. How many heart pieces do we have? Oh, okay. Well, in the past two episodes, we have g gained two heart containers. That's pretty good. Although there are a lot of heart pieces, and, you know... Like I said, there are only four heart containers you can get from bosses in this game. The rest are gotten from heart containers. So it's much easier to get and find heart containers in this game than it was in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> That's fun. Wiles! Okay. Good luck, young Mark. Now you can try for three days straight of new records. Alright then, use this Deku thing and have fun. Alright, one minute and 16 seconds. Exactly, whoever did these last records is ridiculous. Oh, I should have gone over to... The... Ooh, I don't think I can make that. Nope. Okay, so, instead I'm going to go from the left Deku flower. I don't know why I tried going from the right one. Hee hee hee, give us more rupees. They're trying to make this as humanly difficult as possible, because they want to, want to stop giving me money. You'll see. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> Come on, make it. Yeah. Alright. Let's get these ones in the middle now. Right, these are kind of easy, because all you have to do is just wait for it to pop up below you. Ooh, I nearly screwed that up after calling it easy. Let's go ahead and get this one now, because the ones that go up and down actually are legitimately easy. Oh my god, how did I get that? <laughs> oh, that was a closey. Okay, well, we can't get to the last one from that one, so we have to go into one of these. Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh, what? Oh, I was so close. I landed on it, too. Glitched out and made me fall through the platform. You saw that. Okay, let's try that again, this time with more feeling. This one's actually easier, now that I think about it, than the last one, only because you don't have to keep going through all the moving ones. The moving ones are really difficult to get to. Uh, the moving up and down ones are not as difficult to get to. Push. <laughs> I don't think I ever specifically mentioned it, but Majora's Mask is a pretty difficult game, all in all. Frick. Like, not difficult in the sense of you beat it. It is actually pretty damn difficult in that sense, too, especially due to the third dungeon, which we will get to later. But, 
with the actual mini games itself, there were a lot of mini games, and they had to put in a lot of different ideas and a lot of different mini games, and a lot of them are very hard. Like this one is obnoxious. Like you'll get it eventually, but it drives you mental after a while. And I'm I'm uh, I'm not really worried about losing all of my rupees, but it's a definite possibility because I've just started the game. I don't have five thousand rupees in my uh, in, in my repertoire, as it were, in my bank account. God, I'm st I'm still doing what I used to do. I have to be more patient. But the mini games are pretty damn difficult. <laughs> but that does not make it a bad game. And you know, over difficulty doesn't make it a bad game either. It doesn't necessarily make it a good game. I'm not the kind of guy who only plays games that are like so hard they make me want to rip my hair out. But I don't want to play games that are so pathetically easy. If I want to do that, I'll play my NES Sesame Street game. Make it? Yeah! Okay, so fun fact that I just thought of. So these um, outer, these outer ones that go up and down, are probably your best bet to getting the uh, ones that go all the way around outside, because they're closer and you can just wait to drop down. Like so. Oh my God! Ugh. Like so. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's much, you know, easier. Man, this is an entire episode of doing this crap. I think I did, like, one more thing. Didn't I get Kamaro's mask? I think I got that. I don't remember, that was three minutes ago. THIRTY MINUTES AGO! I did that madness. THIRTY MINUTES! <laughs> I've been at this. <coughs> hmm. Oh, wow, okay then, sure. Oh, what the f Link! I did not tell you to go forward! Why did I turn into Full Metal Jacket Man there? Okay, come on, come out. I will beat my record, boys. Fate of the world counts on it. Really, it kind of does. You, when you think about it, these guys are like, oh, if you beat my minigame and amuse me, then maybe I'll give you something that allows you to survive and beat the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was, but it, it fit. Ooh, a little bit too late. That's a difficult jump to make. Another good thing about this, I don't, still don't know why I haven't jump cut it, but another good thing about this, and I, I'm just talking about it, so I can't jump cut. Nonetheless, let me finish my sentence, me. The good thing about this is that if you keep getting, like, the blue rupees and all the other rupees, you'll, you'll kind of make back your money. There are only ten rupees here, so you, you'll only lose, like, maybe five at most. Yes! 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 <laughs> My mind did not move fast enough. Okay, jump cut! Let's, let's, let's not deal with this for any longer than we freaking have to. Jump cut! Oh, thank God! <laughs> Oh, that took me way longer than I'd like to admit. A new record, and for three days straight? Wow, we've been had. Well, you're obviously a pro, and pros can't play here. Take this and don't come back. Alright, we got a piece of heart, and they do not want us here ever again. But we were really dealing with, dealing with a fierce competitor. Ah, oh, it's Mark! Hide! <laughs> and now every time you come back, they hide. And you're not allowed to use... For some reason, I can't even get on it. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and put away our rupees that we got. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. 
And then call this a day, because, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ, on the hand basket. That was obscene. Say hello to- say goodbye, excuse me, to like, the worst freaking minigame this game has to offer. And that's a really bad one. The ones involving shooting the bow are also pretty obnoxious, and they will take you forever. A lot of the other ones aren't really that bad. The minigames aren't what I come back to this game for. What I can't, what I come back to this game for are the, is the storyline and all the other, like, side quests. Not the minigames, but the side quests themselves. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... <laughs> So, now that we've done, uh, 200 rupees, he gives me five more rupees, which is interest, but that's not even useful for me right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. That's... it's not a big deal. So, next time... well, I might as well just go back in time. Let's go back in time, and, uh, I'm going to do something in between videos. Bet between this episode and next episode, I'm going to collect 200 rupees and then go back in time again using the two chests that we know are always there. We don't really lose much throughout this time. Some bombs. It's five rupees, not a big deal. But by the next episode. Actually, well, I, I could do it in this episode because really there's a lot of jump coming. This episode's pretty short. Hmm. Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and do a few more things this episode. Might as well talk. It's not much to talk about, but I might as well do it. Uh, while I'm collecting 200 rupees. So go ahead and collect the 200 rupees. <laughs> collect a hundred more, and I believe after that you get the Giant's Wallet. If you don't, then I'm just going to go ahead to Stonehead Temple. If I do get the Giant's Wallet, then I'm going to, um, get the, uh, get the, the Stay Up All Night Mask? What is it called? The All Night Mask, I believe it is. And then we can do a little bit more. We can get two heart pieces with that, actually. Which is actually really awesome. It's like my favorite mask in the game. One, four, two, five, three. Because it it involves a lot of story, the all night mask. One, four, two, five, three. And you'll see, you'll see hopefully by next episode what I mean. Go ahead and put this on. And using the bomb mask, we can easily go back in time. I mean, excuse me, go back here without even getting any bombs or buying any bombs or anything. Okay, go ahead and explode this. And you don't know anything about it, there's really nothing else to talk about. I mean, all I'm doing is getting some, uh, rupees. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them in the bank. So, really, the only thing to talk about is what I'm doing, and I've already talked about it. So, jump cut to going back in time? No, it would be easier for me to just jump cut to when I'm putting in the last rupees for me to get the giant's wallet. You don't have to do this, by the way. I mean, you could just could get the 200 rupees every time you go back in time, because you'll have enough, you know, times that you go back in time that you'll do that. But this is speeding up the process, because I want to get the All Knights mask soon, because I want to... I just want it, okay? There's no... Shut up! Wow, I didn't even have to jump cut. But I will after I put away my rupees. So, um... Actually, you know what? Jump cut! Alright, I got 200 rupees. Let's go ahead and see if this was worth it. Let's deposit these 200 rupees. I'm not 100% sure if this is how you get the giant's wallet, and I'm a little bit too lazy to look it up in the walkthrough, because that walkthrough is organized kind of odd. 
Nope, that's not how you get the Giant's Wallet. So, I'm going to have to find out how you do that. Oh, uh, well. That'll be all for this episode, so uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. See you all then.